Hi, I'm Emma and I'll show you how you can add impact data sets to your model in Mobius. You're really likely to have to use this feature because most products that you're going to model in Mobius will involve some impact data sets because primary data is scarce. That's an important feature to know. And let's dive in. So I'm going to use a product as an example this one okay so here we see a product inventory or at least the start of it and we see we have some items we have zero impact added to this inventory and one thing that you might notice already is that you can only add impact to the lowest level item of the inventory so you see here these items add impact and this top one does not because it contains the woven cotton fabric and if an item contains another item then it will get its impact from that item. So you can only add it to the lowest level items. That's important to know. Now, let's say that we are going to add some impact to the woven cotton fabric. And the first thing to note when you open the adding impact modal, it's really important to note that we have these three different tabs. So we have the database search, which is where you can search for secondary data sets. Then we have the elementary flows, which is where you can model elementary flows. So direct emissions to the environment, essentially. We're not going to go into that more in this video, but we'll have a separate video on that. And then we also have custom impact, which is where you can add primary data on the environmental impact of things that you got from your supplier, for example. But in this case, let's say that that's not the case. We don't have any primary data, so we're going to have to work with a secondary database. Then we use the database search. And in the database search, you can see that you can filter in many different ways. So you have the filters on the left, and then we also have the filters above the data set table and one filter that you can see here has already been applied so this is the preferred database uh, usually you only want to work with one and the same database when you're modeling your product or maybe multiple but then that they are compatible and this is because you want to keep things consistent and comparable and the nice thing is that now with the workspace settings you can set your preferred database already in there and then Mobius will always filter by default on that database to make sure that you're just using that database and also to narrow down the results. So that's nice, this filter is already set, but we still have a lot of results. So let's see if we can find something for our woven cotton fabric. Now, the first thing we can do is use some search words. This is always nice to get a little bit of a feel of the data sets that are available. So for example, here we search for cotton and we get only 107 results. So that's a little bit better, but it's still a lot of results. And now let's see if we can use some filters to narrow this down a little bit. So first off, we're looking for a material. So I click on this one and then let's see, we're looking for a textile that already gets our number down by a lot. And now let's see, we're looking for woven cotton fabric. So my bet is on weaving. So I'm going to click on that. And here we only have five results left. So using these filters can be a very nice way to narrow down your results if you don't exactly know what you're searching for. Of course, if you do, you can just use the search bar and find your results that way. I can narrow this down even further if I need. So I can filter on the geography, for example, or on the property in which the data set is measured and stuff like that. But in this case, let's say that we're buying in our textiles from Bangladesh. So this would be uh, applicable. Now, in this case, we're sure, but let's say you're not sure and you want to compare a few data sets, then you can compare these data sets on the additional information by clicking on compare data sets here. And then I can click on two data sets and compare their information. And here I get some extra descriptions and just some more information. So in any case, you can just see if, if this helps you select the right data set. Once you're done comparing, you can click on the one that you want to add. So that's this one in this case. I'm going to click on add and now I have added this data set. Now the final step to adding a data set to your model is a property pop-up, which is this one. And we're going to go into properties in a different video in more detail. So essentially this pop-up is just to make sure that you're using the right unit for the data set and that it matches with your item unit. And in this case, our item unit is kilograms. I can see that over here and our data set also has a mass property. So that matches and we can just go ahead and say that one kilogram of woven cotton fabric is also equal to one kilogram of this data set and just save this. 
but it's important to check this always with your unit and with the data set unit. So that's what this pop-up is for. And now we've added a data set to our model. So in this video, I've explained how you can use a secondary data set in Mobius to add impact to your model. And if you have any questions about this topic or you're getting stuck searching a data set, we have a lot of resources available in our help center, for example, but also in the software. And you can also always reach out to us. And good luck making your own LCAs or PCFs.